All right, so you want to download Replay Mod with Optifine. So you're going to need four things for this. You're going to need MultiMC, you're going to need Optifine, you're going to need OptiFabric, and you're going to need Replay Mod. So the first of which, the most important of all, is going to be MultiMC. This will allow us to download everything else far easier, and just it's so it makes everything so much simpler. So I'll leave all these links in the description. And once you're on this MultiMC page, you just scroll down to the point where it says download install and hit download. Now this will download a zip file and you can show that in folder, right click it and extract all and extract it to the same spot. Now it will probably open up the extracted folder and you can cl double click on it and this is where your multi MC will be run from. You can click this for the first time and it will open up something like this. You can go through the regular setup. I already have it set up, so I'm not going to do that, but you get the picture. It's pretty self-explanatory. So now this is my multi-MC. Uh, I've downloaded this previously and I already have an instance, but when you first load in, you will not have an instance already. This will be a blank screen here. So you're going to need to add an instance. And for me, the latest version is 1.16.4 and I'll just name it new. And okay, so this new version, we're going to need to add something called fabric. This will, this is the base package that replay mod requires. So we're going to go to edit. We're going to click on it, then hit edit instance. And it opened in my other screen. And here it is. You can probably see it now. And it'll show a few things here. But what we need to do is install Fabric. So let's click on that and hit the newest version once again. Now that installs Fabric Loader. Now we can get to installing all the other things. So Optifine downloads. I'll leave this link in the description as well. Um, but what you need to do is hit download. And this is going to be a um, this is going to look kind of sketchy, but trust me, it's not. Just whatever you do, do not hit this blue download button. That's not a good thing. Never do that. Always hit skip. This is just the only way that Optifine makes money because it's a free service, and I'm a very appreciative for that. But next, once it brings you to this page, you're going to hit download. And that should start a download here, and you can keep that. Uh, and it's going to open up an ad. Once again, do nothing on this page. Close out the tab. Now, we need OptiFabric. This will allow Optifine to work with Fabric. Um, so, uh, again, link is in the description. We're going to go over to Download over here, top right, and hit it. And this will begin a countdown to our download. And now it should start automatically, and we can keep this again because we know it is trustworthy. Now we're done with those two. We can exit out this tab, and we're going over to Replay Mod. Now, this link, once again, always in the description, this will be, we want to get the fabric one. So there's a few different types of replay mod. We want the fabric one because that's what we're going to be using. So we're going to download and it should bring us to a separate page and then it will eventually start a download in our Chrome taskbar down here. Any second now. Typically the website is a little bit slow i'm not sure why but once again this is trustworthy we can keep this one so now we have three jars and we've already installed multi mc so let's go back into multi mc and let's install mods because all of these jar files are mods so now what we can do here is go and add a file go into our downloads folder and select the three that we've downloaded. And these will be all down here and the same thing up here. So let's just select them all, or you could do them one by one, but selecting them all is easier, and just hit open. And now it should have installed all three of these. And what we can do here is hit launch. However, if this is your first time using MultiMC, which it probably is for most people, it will ask you to set up your account, which in which case you will just input your Mojang information. It's once again, very self-explanatory, but if you ever get 
lost and need to get back to this same page, just make sure to find loader mods. Or if you're in this page, go to edit instance and then loader mods again. And now since all this is installed, we can hit launch. And this may take a little while to load up because we've never started the game in this version before and we have a bunch of mods to load up. So this may take a little while. But here's where I'm going to explain what replay mod is. So replay mod is a mod that I'm not sure who exactly developed it, but it's very helpful for YouTubers or anybody who wants to make a cool looking video or montage. Um, as you can keyframe some camera movements into the game um, from a third person perspective or from first person. Um, it's overall just a very helpful tool. But now that we're in Minecraft, uh, we can see that it says fabric modded. It'll say replay viewer. Uh, Optifine also installed, so we can view the replays we've had saved. And this tutorial will not cover how to use replay mod. That's a whole separate video. It's a, it's a somewhat difficult thing to learn, but it's super helpful once you've learned it. So you can do everything that Optify normally does, and you can also, uh, let's see here. If I load up a world, you'll be able to use replay mod like normal. Uh, because I believe replay mod is default set to start recording upon world generation. So once this loads here, replay mod will start up and there will be a icon in the top left. Yep, that says recording. And now if I just run around, replay mod will be on. This will make your game a little bit laggier because it's essentially the same thing as recording your screen but actually more intense than that. So just be aware of that. It will make your game laggy if you don't have a somewhat high-end or medium PC. Um, so just take that into account when using replay mod. Now, if we, we can either stop or pause recording, but we can just save and quit the title and it'll automatically stop, hit done, that'll save it. And we can open up our replay. So this shows us moving around and that's the end of the video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.